The Red Cross in Uganda says the country's health system is taking strain as the number of Ebola cases rises. The Minister of Health says at least nine people have died from the virus, including a doctor. And there is a total of 43 confirmed cases since the outbreak was declared on the 20th of September. Ebola causes an acute serous illness that is often fatal if untreated. It spreads between humans by direct contact with contaminated bodily fluids. As the country remains on high alert, the World Health Organization noted last week that the current outbreak was first detected among a group of highly mobile people, raising fears that the virus could spread to the capital and abroad. Uganda's health system is taking strain. This child and her mother are waiting for an ambulance at the Mududu Health Center 3 in the country's western central district. The woman has a high temperature and blood-stained diarrhea, both symptoms of Ebola. Several hours later, they whisked away to an isolation center. The Ministry of Health says at least nine people have died now from the virus, including a doctor, and there's a total of 43 confirmed cases. Red Cross staff preparing to go into the field. The organization is at the forefront of evacuating suspected patients from communities and providing what it terms dignified burials. Until Uganda is declared Ebola free, we may not promise that this will end during this period or December, January or May or March, you know. But we just have to keep resource mobilizing so that we are able to bridge the gaps. But the biggest gaps at community level. As the country remains on high alert, WHO noted that the outbreak was first detected among a group of highly mobile people, raising fears that the virus could spread to the capital and abroad. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.